As of this past week, I was able to get my hands on a Jetson Nano. In this video, I'm only going to look at what your network connectivity options are. So out of the box, you have three options for network connectivity. The very first one, which is fairly obvious, is uh, the Nano has an Ethernet adapter. So all you need to do is connect, it, connect a network cable to it. Now, you probably want to get it connected wirelessly. Uh, if you're going to go with a wireless option, there are two ways to do this. The first, and the simplest, is simply to get a wireless network adapter uh, that plugs into your USB port. So the one that I suggest is the one of the Edimac series. In this case, I'm using the N150. That's not the only one that works. There are several of these, and you see them suggested for Raspberry Pi, the Beagle, Bo the Beagle Bone, and many other Linux-based boards. Uh, these tend to work on Linux, they work on Windows, they work on a number of things, and the thing I like about them is they just work. In most cases, you just plug them in, there's no additional drivers to install, there's no additional setup, the device just automatically recognizes it, and then you're ready to select your wireless network and keep going. So, once you get one, that's all you have to do, and great, it's installed. Now, while that's an available option, that is not my preferred option. Uh, what I've decided to do is go with a PCIe card. The mini PCIe slot isn't immediately visible, and that's because it's under the module. You can get to it by removing a couple of screws. So let's do that now. So here's the first screw and the second screw. Okay, so that's it. Both of the screws are removed. To get to the PCIe adapter, now that I've removed the screws, I need to remove the soda module. So just by pulling uh, outward in the retaining clips, you can see that the Jetson module slides up. And from there, I can just pull it out. Let me set this aside. And that's it you can see the PCIe slide on the right. So it's right over here. So now I need to get the network adapter installed. Uh, for a network adapter, so the network adapter that I've selected is from Intel. Uh, they made it for desktop computers, but it works in a number of devices. You can see this one is the wireless AC8265. Uh, now I've already taken it out of the box. So you can see what it comes with. Uh, it, are, it has the antennas in there. There is a slot. This is if you were using it in a PC so that you could cover up one of the slot. And of course the adapter itself is in a corner. So let's take that out and get it installed. So the first thing I notice is that uh, they already have the antennas installed into the, into the slots of the card. Uh, I'm not going to use this card at all so I need to get these uh, disconnected. So if you're doing these, you want to get a small pair of pliers just so that you, just so that you can get the uh, screws start turning. Uh, it's not that it's in here tight, but it's hard to get a grip on these. Uh, once you do a half turn and get it moving, then uh, it is easy to turn it the rest of the way just with a finger. So I take out these two nuts. And that's it. So I've got... So I've got these removed and it's ready to be installed into the Nano. So getting the card installed is easy. It's just a matter of sliding it into place and pressing it down. Now if I release this, it's gonna have a tendency to pop back up. That's fine. That's why we have this retaining screw. So we put this in place, turn it. Okay, that's it. So it's anchored in place now. Uh, the last thing to do is to replace the module itself. So just like I took it out, I can start, I can get the pins lined up, slide it in place, and then press down. Last thing that's left is to get the screws uh, put back in. Now for me, putting the screws in is always more difficult than taking them out. But let's get the first one. Okay, first one's in place. Now let's get the second one. Okay, 
Yeah, I've got it in a hole. Let me get the screwdriver in there. Okay, that's it. So now I have the wireless network adapter uh, that I want installed. Now, for most people, I suggest is going with the USB one. I'm going with uh, something a little bigger because I have better, I, I tend to get better reception from the ones that are using external antennas. Additionally, I'm going to be putting this in the inside of a case, so these extra wires are hanging off here. This is not going to be an issue for me. This is all going to go inside of a box. But now that the network adapter is installed, I'll get this thing booted up so that we can see whether or not it can actually connect to a network. This is my device booting up. We'll be at the desktop in just a moment. Okay, here we go. Now if you click on the icon in the upper right hand corner, you can see a number of wireless networks. If you don't see yours, you can click on more networks to get to it. Uh, I see the one that I want to connect to, so I'm going to go ahead and select it. Okay, right now it appears that I am connected, but uh, I need to make sure of that. So I'll open Chromium and see if I can load a web page. If you look in the upper right hand corner, you can see the uh, graphical indicator that indicates my network strength. It's loaded the Google search page, but just to make sure I'm not seeing something that's cached, let's go to another web page. I'll go to CNN.com and see what comes up. And there CNN is beginning to load so I can tell that I'm connected. So right now I'm connected to the internet with my Jetson Nano over the uh, wireless network card that's installed in the PCIe slot. So it looks like everything is good to go.